All right, so in this video, we are gonna be having a quick discussion about the new top legendary summon banner that dropped on Global last night because I've been getting some questions from people asking me if this is a banner that's worth summoning on, right? And uh, if you guys have seen any of my pass or pull videos before, this is gonna be like a mini version of that. So uh, right off the top, we have the Tech LR Jiren and the Biz LR Angel Golden Frieza and Android 17 as the featured LRs, the headline LRs. And taking a look at the rest of the featured SSRs, you got the Fizz Vegeta, Tech Kaoken Goku, Int Beerus, uh, Tech Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, Fizz Super Saiyan Blue uh, Goku, Int Baby, STR, Angry Kamehameha, Goku, Int Super Saiyan God Goku, STR Super Saiyan God Goku, and the AGL uh, Golden Frieza. So aside from the LRs, this featured pool I think is pretty rough. It's pretty rough. We got some good units here, like the Vegeta and Goku right here, the Fizz and Tech ones, solid with their easy A's. The uh, Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta are also pretty good. Baby, not good. Fizz, or rather Int Beerus, not good. This uh, Angry Kamehameha Goku, not good right now either. Uh, same thing with the Super Saiyan God Gokus. Um, all these units need Extremes the Awakenings to be good at some point in the future right now not super usable in my opinion and the uh, AGL Golden Frieza is one of the best tanks in the game he does have an Extreme Z Awakening so a pretty useful unit right there but overall like I said not a good uh, featured SSR pool even by legendary summon standards so now the question becomes are the two headlining LRs good enough to justify summoning on this banner, right? So why don't we take a look at the uh, Tech LR Jiren, who came out, uh, wow, was it last year? Damn, I thought he was much older than that, honestly. But okay, so he came out in January of 2021 on Global, July of 2020 on JP. And I would say at this point, he has definitely aged, but he's still pretty good. He's still pretty good. He's definitely usable. He's definitely still quite powerful uh, offensively and defensively. Still going to be good on most events in the game. But he's not nearly as impressive as he was when he first released, obviously, because of the power creep, right? There's a lot of, you know, Dokkan Fest units now and other LRs that far outperform him in basically all areas. But with that said, Still a pretty good LR. His leader skill is University 11 category, key plus 3. Uh, HP attack and defense plus 170%. Now that's a good leader skill, but this is a very, very limited category. Or Universe Survival Saga, key plus 3. HP attack and defense plus 150%. Buff key super, colossal damage, and greatly lowers defense. An 18 key super, mega colossal damage, and massively lowers defense with a medium chance of stunning. Passive attack and defense plus 200%. E plus 1 with each attack received up to key plus 5. Attacks effective against all types when the target enemy is in attack down or defense down status and performs a critical hit when the target enemy is stunned. He also has an active skill which uh, can be activated after the character receives attack 5 or more times in battle once only and it gives him attack and defense plus 30% all enemies attack and defense minus 30% and stuns all enemies for one turn. So like I said, Jiren is still quite good. He's going to put up some pretty big numbers uh, offensively. And then his defense, you know, is not amazing, but it's pretty good. So I would say like at this point, he's kind of middle of the pack for LRs in the game. And uh, moving on to the uh, Golden Frieza and Android 17. These guys... Um, there's a lot of mixed opinions on them, I would say, in the community. For me personally, I don't think they're bad, but I don't think they're that good either. So leader skill is universe, survival saga, or join forces, key plus three, HP attack and defense plus 150%, buff key super, greatly raises attack for one turn and causes cost of damage, 18 key super, 
raises its attack for one turn, causes mega colossal damage, and lowers attack and defense. Passive attack and defense plus 70%, great chance of launching up to two additional attacks, plus an additional attack and defense plus 7% up to 70%. And key plus one up to key plus seven with each attack performed chance of performing a critical hit plus seven percent and reduces damage received by seven percent within the same turn with each attack performed uh, active skill can be activated after performing four or more super attacks in battle which is not a good condition and then uh the effect is key plus seven defense plus 77 percent and performs critical hits for one turn so the issue with this unit is that when they start out in an event, they're really, really weak. They're very, very, very weak, and they have to build up to really put out any kind of substantial damage and get any kind of substantial defense, right? Once they're built up, though, uh, they're quite good in both aspects. I would say they can put up some big numbers and get some good defense, but even when they're fully built up, you just feel like their numbers should be better considering when they came out which was uh july of 2021 so not that long ago it's been less than a year right um i think they should have been a lot better and i just think they're kind of disappointing <laughs> you know like not to say you can't use them not to say they can't do well in a lot of events it's just they should have been better in my opinion okay so with all that said with all that said uh both of these lrs are like you know solid but they're not units you really need so you know as a whole like you know bad featured pool just kind of okay featured lrs um <laughs> given what i've been saying you can probably tell what i'm about to recommend to most people um, unless you really, really, really want LR Jiren, or you really want the Angel Golden Frieza in Android 17, this is a hard skip, guys. This banner is such an easy skip for, like, I think 95% of the player base. Um, you might be one of those special cases where, like, you just need to have these units in your life, in which case, might be worth dropping a couple of multis, I guess, but... Considering we have the anniversary coming up, considering we have um, even just like some regular Dokkanvis banners around the corner, uh, it's not worth it, guys. It's not worth it. Save up your stones for much better banners, much better celebrations. This is just a random trap banner that, you know, Bandai slash Akatsuki decided to throw out there to see if they could, you know, trick any people into dropping some stones. And, uh,. I think the smart move would be to just forget about the existence of this banner. Don't touch it. It's not worth it. Yeah, that's my opinion. That is my recommendation. Let me know in the comments down below what you plan to do. As far as this banner is concerned, are you going to be skipping? Are you going to be summoning? And if you are going to be summoning, how many stones are you going to be spending? And also, if you want, tell us why. <laughs> tell us why you're summoning on this banner that is so obviously a trap to me it's a no-brainer to skip but uh, of course the decision is ultimately up to you so uh, that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked the video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, until next time have an awesome awesome day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.